Welcome everyone. This is the first part of 22 episodes introducing Hungary's wine districts. Let's start with Tokat Hills. We will show you exciting secrets of local winemaking, the future perspective and glorious past of the region, and the tradition that goes with the terroir. You'll get an insight into all of this and even more. Our main grapes are Ferment, Linden Leaf, Muscat Varetes, Zenith, Kaba, and Fat Grape. Here the macroclimate and the microclimate are intertwined in a highly unique matter. Even though Tokat Hills lies in a rather dry area, the proximity of the two rivers, the Bodrog and the Tissa, makes all mornings misty. The sun comes up around 9 or 10 in the morning, dispersing the fog and bringing the weather that is warm and bright, albeit a little windy. This duality is important because the Botrytis, a grey mold, that develops on the berries will initiate the process of noble rotting. While moisture is key for the survival of the fungus, the sun and the wind are required to initiate shriveling. This double effect that acts day to day on the grapes is essential for producing or so wines. It goes without saying that it is the wine specialities, by which I mean the Samarodni and the Asu, that will always make Tokat stand out from the crowd. Demand for dry wines has been at an all-time high, and Tokat Hills is in a great position as it is able to provide unique character and a highly captivating terror. Nowadays, it can be used more widely, possibly paired with more dishes, while Asu itself gives an incredible experience. It can also add spectacular complexity to food. For example, a dish of roasted pike perch is an excellent choice with dry toku wine, which is the first of the three most important kokeries. The second kokeri consisting of late harvest wines, and sweet semarani goes perfectly with cold, or hot duck or goose liver. Finally, the real queen of Tokat Hills, the Asu, is best consumed with a slice of caramel cheesecake. 